welcome to careerintex.com and here we have with another tutorial videos for the LDAP client here you need to <coughs> install two softwares one is DirectT you need to install two group packages one is DirectT and second is client in DirectT D is capital and in client C is capital hyphen Y if you will install with simple install then you will not get your required result you need to install group ins is use group install yum space group install space I double colon directory colon client space client colon space hyphen y it is already installed in my system so I will tell you how to configure it go to system administration authentication <coughs> then go to user account database LDAP here you will you need to give your domain name in LDAP search base DN here I have example.com so DC is equal to example DC is equal to com if you have another then you can add DC is equal to net this is equal to example this is equal to com for the net for the net.example.com here we are using instructor.example.com as a host so my certificate is http double colon slash colon double slash instructor dot example dot com slash example dot ca dot cr hyphen ca dot crt here you will not see the certificate because I am using VM so in VM you cannot do the LDAP <coughs> because I I am not telling how to configure the LDAP server so it will show error but in your live environment you can do this it is only the procedure in authentication method use LDAP password then apply then go to command line <coughs> or you can say terminal here is a command to know home directory of the server or LDAP server it is very simple command in the meanwhile you can check out my another videos as well you will get lot of knowledge of Linux on my channel so sub click on subscribe button and get all tutorials in your email here is the command git and space pass wd space ldap user number here I am using ldap user 20 I am not I cannot show you because I am on VM as I said before so you can use these commands and you can <coughs> get your LDAP client configuration but before that you need a auto accessories to configure LDAP wholly so I will tell you in another tutorial how to configure auto FS service <coughs> so stay tuned and subscribe me on youtube.com slash career and tricks and have fun